In Lady Brand, change is rising with the sun. At Spa, innovation meets independence and it's entirely solar powered. This is Spa's heart of power, clean, intelligent and built to last. This isn't a patch, it's a full-scale upgrade, designed with precision, built for performance. The spa looks like a normal retail store when you walk into the gate um, and um, you see shelves full of groceries and um, things you can buy there. But when you start looking a little bit deeper, it's actually a fairly big consumer of electricity. and. Um, to, um, to design a system that actually works for the spa it took us about a year of, of um, up and down with um, the owner here and um, we, um, we had to fully understand the, the, the electricity usage profile and um, everything they do in order for us to, um, to design the system properly and make sure that it actually meets the expectation of the customer. So um, the limitation is also um, the, the roofs and the real estate available on the roofs and the orientation of those roofs so to fit in enough panels to, um, to make sure that we optimize the amount of electricity we can generate from the roof and then matching the system with um, the consuming of power in the building or in the shop is the big challenge here. So another um, aspect that makes this quite unique is the fact that the, the spa is a, is a retail store and then it's got a butchery in the back and it's got a bakery and then it's got a tops liquor store next door all of those things have, um, have machines and ovens and fridges and freezers all consuming power and um, they open at, um, at seven o'clock in the morning and they close at seven o'clock in the evening so it's a 12 hour operational day um, and um, in winter the sun doesn't shine for 12 hours so we had to design the inverters matching to the solar panels and then have enough battery capacity to season through the day. Okay, so the composition of the system is um, the SIG Energy Inverters with their batteries in the container here. It's a 350 kilowatt AC system with 672 kilowatt hours of battery backup. So the, um, the SIG Energy Inverter goes on top, that's a 25 kilowatt um, unit. There's 14 of them in the container and then there's six batteries, eight kilowatt hours each underneath each inverter and they all get connected in, in parallel to the, um, to the gateway. This is a 600 kilowatt gateway where um, the input from the, from the grid comes into this circuit breaker, um, the generator comes into this one and the, the backup loads go onto that one. Um, the inverters are connected to the, to the circuit breakers in the, in the bottom here. So um, with this gateway, there's still quite a bit of capacity for increasing the size of the system later on. So, um, so it's very modular and, um, and very scalable in that sense. These cabinets um, are for the solar panel string inputs. So um, there's about 506 kilowatt peak of solar panels on the roof, um, four strings on each inverter. And then if each string um, in this cabinet has an isolator, fuses and a surge arrester, which are then um, all connected together to the inverters. So from an installation point of view, um, we installed the system in the rainy season and um, there was quite a bit of rain while we were working here. So many days we couldn't work on the roof. And um, the location of the containers is in the back of the, um, of the shop where the space is, is quite confined, so we couldn't get a full 12 meter container um, rigged into the position here. And what we had to do is to use two 6 meter containers, rig them in individually, and then join them on site to form one big 12 meter container. So we have 14 inverters all lined up along the, um, along the sides and the center of the container. Um, they have the LED indicator lights on the sides which can show you either the state of charge 
or um, the direction of the of the flow, whether the battery is charging or discharging, and um, they all connected with the cabling that you that you see on the roof here. So um, each one of these orange cables go back to the gateway, and that's the AC interface for the inverter. And then all the PV cabling runs on this gantry, um, which comes from the uh, PV combiner box in the back there, and um, and they each connect to the respective inverters and. Um, and that forms the, the entire system. Uh, so we chose the SIG Energy system um, because um, it gives us the full flexibility of, um, of doing whatever we want the system to do, be it self-consumption, AI and um, time of use. And um, because the the, um, the customer here is on a time of use um, rate structure, we can um, we can set the, the system so it does exactly what we, we wanted to do to optimize the um, the cost of the power that they're going to use. The SIG energy reliability, the ease of installation, the way the system works, um, and the um, the innovation with the um, with the gateway that, that does all the switching and all the inverters really working like a um, like a grid tied system with batteries. Um, it's, it's just the best out there at the moment and I don't think we could have done any better with this installation. So what you can see there is the, the battery state of charge profile. So we charge the batteries up in winter during the night after 10 o'clock when um, the cheapest um, power price period is and then um, when the peak period comes um, the power is basically double the price. So during the peak we discharge the battery so that we don't draw any power from Eskom during the peak period. Um, there's one in the morning from 6 to 9 and another one in the afternoon from 5 to 7. And as you can see, both those peak periods um, only consume battery power and, and no power from this point of So the site had an existing diesel generator. It's a 450 kVA Scania unit. Um, we integrated the generator with the system. So this circuit breaker is for the generator input and the gateway controls when the generator starts. So it'll only start when there's no ESCOM power and the batteries go below a certain limit of, of state of charge. Then the generator will kick in and it'll charge the batteries and it'll supply the load with power. It's a nice and big machine, so we have 450 kVA available and, um, and we're using that. Um, we, all, we only had to change the generator controller so that we can use the, the two-wire start system that works from the gateway. So here's the existing generator. The generator's been on site here for about 10 years. So all we did is, is we, um, we replaced this, this controller in the top and, um, and that's what, um, what we use to communicate with the gateway so the generator can start when the gateway um, gives it the command. Um, this room was the existing meter room um, where, um, where the Centlec or ESCOM power comes in. And um, that, um, that board was the, was the old meter board with, um, with the power meters that all the different buildings or the divisions of the spa used to use. They used to have individual meters for the spa itself and the butchery and the bakery and then one for the tops. So we, we changed that um, and put all of the loads of the inverter system on, on this board, which was um, manufactured by the Heralds Group. So there's a, a main switch and then um, in here we have, um, we have separate meters for the different divisions each one on, on its own circuit breaker so it's much more controllable and um, we can see here exactly um, the, the power consumption of each one of the different business units. So these are all the, the boxes and the packaging material that the batteries and the inverters came in. So we, um, we're busy separating it so we can, um, we can recycle the, um, the paper and all the, all the packaging material. So um, yeah, so 84 boxes for the batteries and another 14 for the inverters. And then the ground mount units also in boxes. So um, it's, it's quite a bit of, of packaging material that, you, that you're dealing with. Hi, my name is Julian De Freitas. I'm the owner of Lady Brand Spa and Tops. 
Uh, the solar consideration was actually a long-term project of mine. I took over the store on the 1st of March 2023 um, and knowing that it's going to be one of my biggest expenses, the electricity cost, it's always been a concern of mine to actually do the renovation that we did and the revamp that we did with a solar project in mind. So from day one actually it was part of the plan. So when I um, put in brand new refrigeration, all of that, it was always looking for the most efficient in terms of electricity usage, equipment, etc. so that I could go solo one day. Um, still, my head thought the project was going to be a long way off um, and given the constraints that we had, the financial constraints in terms of electricity skyrocketing every year by in excess of what our normal food inflation is, that project got moved forward. Um, reasons why I did the solar installation, uh, pretty much to try and stabilize, like I said, one of my biggest expenses on our books. Electricity is involved in all facets of my business, from my manufacturing in the butcher, the bakery, food preparation, refrigeration, which runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, hence, it was quite important to actually do a project that would give me sustainability and stability in terms of my gross profit and my expenses. Uh, interesting thing, um, you know, we part of the SPA Group's uh, benchmarking. So that is where the selected retailers who provide financial information in terms of what our costs are. Anyone who is in our sector, for example, and not considering trying to mitigate one of your top three expenses, um, should really consider it. Uh, from our point of view, I am so comfortable now assigning costs to my production, uh, which forms somewhat between 35 to 40% of our store's contribution. And that is all linked to electricity. So if I take the long-term view that over 10 years I've actually fixed my electricity cost, in essence, I'm winning all the way. So nowadays the, um, the installation of a, um, of a power system like this is, is not um, because of load shedding or because of, um, of power outages, it's a business decision and um, it, 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 it causes the, the power to be reliable and it's always available and it actually saves money at the end of the day so it's a, it's a business decision more than an emotional decision like it was during load, load shedding. So during the design of a system like this, you really have to become part of the business and understand exactly what they're um, doing and how they're using their power. And there's a, there's a big element of mutual relationship and trust because um, you, you're really getting into bed with, with the customer. And we own the system just like they own it for the next 10 or 20 years, um, if I'm still gonna be alive in 20 years. But um, yeah, so um, it's not just about selling something or it's, it's not a retail operation. It's, um, it's a huge decision for the owner and, um, and we all have to become part of it and um, it's, it's really like a big family from Harold's to the installer to the customer. So your customer is my customer and my customer is your customer. While shoppers fill their carts unaware, a silent system hums in perfect sync, keeping SPA powered, efficient and protected from outages. Spa Lady Brunt isn't just powered, it's future-proofed.